Hello, people of the internet! My name is Johnny. Welcome back to yet another fantastic FNAF news video. We got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about because we've been so busy with the FNAF movie. So in today's video, we got updates on Hex, U2's, even Sanchi, brand new posts from Scott and Steel Wool, as well as some updates on the highly anticipated Ruin wave of products coming from Funko. So if you're excited for all the FNAF news, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything going on with FNAF. I've got a massive FNAF movie update video in the world right now there's been so so much news since it released back in October but first up let's take a step back and rewind back to 2014 because FNAF 1 the other day on Halloween actually had its highest number of peak concurrent players active on Steam reaching a total of 1376 now that doesn't seem like a lot but keep in mind FNAF is nine years old at this point and a lot of players probably didn't actually play the game, they just saw Markiplier play it, but it's absolutely insane. Still nine years later, FNAF can get its highest peak of players. Keep in mind, this is still on Steam, so this doesn't take into account mobile or console. But speaking of FNAF games, we did have a brand new one released recently. That is, of course, Freddy in Space 3, Chica in Space. But in the files of the game, people were actually able to find some weird drawings of Pokemon characters, as well as Dr. Doof. And the other day, Scott responded to people calling out these files saying, yeah, you guys caught me. This was original a game I made for my kids. And for those of you asking if you can play the original, probably not. Everything was based on their favorite game, so lots of copyrighted characters, haha. I thought I'd reskinned everything, but obviously I missed a few things. So some interesting backstory there with Freddy in Space 3. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the game now that's been out for a little bit. And since we last had a FNAF news video, Halloween has now come and gone. Steelwool did make a post celebrating Happy Halloween featuring the Freddy and Friends characters dressed up in various costumes. Chica as a jack-o'-lantern, probably a reference to the Jacko Pumpkin from FNAF 4. Bonnie's a vampire, Foxy is a mummy, and Freddy is dressed up as a Frankenstein monster, most likely another reference, this time to Dreadbear. And of course, you know it would not be a FNAF news video if we didn't have a brand new shirt from Hot Topic. As you can see, this brand new shirt features Springtrap, or some people say it's Dark Springtrap from Sister Location. Some very menacing art, it's got some quotes around him, though I'm pretty sure the one in the top left is actually from Nightmare or Nightmare Fredbear. And if you were a fan, of FYE's brand new Fizzy Faz Roxy Cola, I've got some good news for you. Because they just released a second Fizzy Faz drink, this time in orange flavor featuring Glamrock Freddy. So now that we have flavors for Roxy and Freddy, hopefully at some point in the near future we can get Chica and Monty flavors to complete the collection. And lastly, for smaller FNAF merchandise news, we've got the third series of Craftables by Just Toys. Once again, featuring the security breach cast of characters, as you can see we've got Freddy, Chica, missing her beak as well, so it seems like this might be Shattered Chica, Roxanne in front of one of the wet floor bots, as well as Vanny being unmasked to reveal her identity. Well, now let's move on to some of the more prominent merchandise news. First up, we got Hex officially releasing some of their Withered plushies. Withered Freddy, Withered Bonnie, and Withered Foxy are now available on Hex's website. I will say for a whopping $65 each, that means if you get the bundle, that's almost $200. I'm not trying to knock Hex here, but it seems like with every release, the prices just keep going up and up. In a recent video, Daco also showed off the prototype for Withered Golden Freddy, and then later on on Twitter showing off the full lineup of Withered characters Golden Freddy, Freddy, Bonnie Chica, and Foxy. The plushies of Golden Freddy and also Withered Chica you can see an up-close picture of right here will be releasing later this month in November. Also alongside that Springtrap plushie we took a look at not too long ago. So just a whole bunch of products coming out from Hex. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on these Withered plushies. Are you going to be picking them up? Though Hex is not the only merchandise company that that's just pumping out brand new products. We also got U2s on the lineup. Their strawberry peach gummies are now officially out. You can get six packs of them for 30 bucks a month. And also the Halloween Pop Goes pins are now available. They're gonna be up on the site until November the 21st. The haunted FNAF 1 figures are also now officially sold out. You can no longer purchase those figures. Though the FNAF 1 puzzle and Freddy Fazbear device holder are still on the site. But now for upcoming U2s products. First up, we got fellow FNAF tuber Fusion Z Gamer putting out some concepts for a fusion plushie. So one of these three plushies designs will be made into an official plushie for fusion. Personally, I like all three of the designs. I'd love to know which one is your favorite in the comments down below. And then we also got a teaser for their upcoming ruined eclipse figure. The design for eclipse and basically all of the ruined characters are always so complex, but YouTube's just keeps knocking it out of the park. Eclipse is going to be releasing in a wave of ruined products later this year alongside the Mexus entity, the mimic figure, ruined Chica, ruined Roxy, and ruined Monty.
Jesse. And actually, right as I finished editing this video, YouTube's blessed us with even more news about some of their upcoming products, because they made this tweet quoting Roxanne from FNAF Security Breach, and in the image you can see a teaser of a plushie of ruined Roxanne Wolf. And previously, we did also get a look at an upcoming wet floor bot plushie, so it seems that we're going to be getting a whole new wave of ruined characters being turned into plushies. So I'd love to know your thoughts and theories for what characters you'd like to see in this upcoming plushie wave. What do you think the plushies look uh, so far? And speaking of security breach characters, we got Sanshi releasing their Monty and Roxanne plushies. Not too long ago, they put out their Freddy and Glamrock Chica plushies, so this completes the set of the four main Glamrock animatronics. Pre-orders for these two plushies, as well as their pins if you want to pick up their special pins. They are available now, and they are expected to arrive by December, so the perfect holiday present for any FNAF fan. And lastly, for merchandise news, as well as the final news for this video, let's switch over to Funko. Because we got glam shots of their upcoming Funko snap figures of Helpy as well as Roxanne. They're gonna be a part of Series 4, I believe, of Funko Snap, so they've been pumping these bad boys out. There is also going to be a figure for the staff bot. We've seen him previously. I know the snap figures are a bit divisive inside this community, personally. I really like them. I'd love to know your thoughts. And now let's move over to the news that I think everyone's been waiting for, news on Funko's upcoming Ruin products. Because Funko leaker and news reporter Scarlet Joker is back at it again, giving us about half of the lineup for the action figures, the plushies, and pop figures. There's gonna be four action figures, one for Ruined Glamrock Chica, one for Ruined Roxanne Wolf, and one for the Ruined Eclipse. There's also going to be four plushies in this wave, one of Ruined Sun, one of the Ruined Moon, and there's going to be four pop figures, one of Ruined Chica, one of Ruined Eclipse, and Joker later clarified, one for Ruined Roxy. I'm very curious, what are your thoughts on this lineup? Because personally, I'm kind of disappointed. I'm not seeing enough room for Mexus. I'm not seeing enough room for the Mimic. If I cannot hold a figure or a plushie of the Mimic, Ooh, Funko, I'm gonna be very upset. It seems like, again, they're just going with the basic security breach character lineup. Eclipse, Chica, Roxy. I'm guessing the missing ones are Freddy and Monty. So I am pretty upset we're not getting the new characters actually from Ruin. Like I said, the Mexus Entity, the Mimic. Cassie could have been cool, but they never usually do FNAF human characters, so I doubt it. Hopefully, later on down the road in the future, we can get like a Walmart exclusive or a GameStop exclusive figures and plushies and pops for those characters, Mexus, Mimic. But again, I'd love to know your thoughts so far on the Ruin Wave from Funko. And that is going to do it for today's FNAF news video. Like I said, a massive, massive FNAF movie update video coming out very, very soon. Talking about secrets, behind the scenes, FNAF movie 2 teases, as well as box office earnings. So subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.